What's up everyone, Derek here with my partner Belaine. Good day everyone. And we're gonna show off five stages of that people have created for Stage Builder or with Stage Builder uh, based on other games. And the one we're starting with is Clocktown Third Day by Firmer and we have the ID right there for you to check it out yourself if you like it. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump into the test and see what this stage is all about. So let's do it. Sounds good. Majora's Mask time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested to see how they incorporate the moon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have it hanging there in the top right, so I'll be curious to see how they have it crash in or not, or if it's mm -hmm. just going to linger there. Uh, right off the bat, we're going to make it sure it's two players so we can do this. We're just going to quickly go into this. All right. All right, so we've got our char characters chosen, Young Link and Fierce Didi Link, at least as best we can do. And, oh, well, there's the moon already. Yep, there he is. Uh, you might want to move. Should I? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's cool. It goes back and forth like it gets repelled. Oh. Oh, that's even cooler. There's a strong wind up here to bring oh. it down. <laughs> oh, this is a bad spot. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not the best place to fight on. <laughs> but I have to go to the moon to save it. Okay, that's True. that's pretty cool. So you basically have a bat a, a pseudo battlefield setup where you're on the top of the clock tower in Majora's Mask, and uh, yeah, if we can get wide here again, Let's have some platforms to play oh, the wind. with. Yes. Yeah. Hey! Get up there. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that's a pretty clever way. I mean, the background actually works for Clock Town, sort of a, uh, I, uh, you know, desolate kind of area. Kind of a doomsday Yeah, vibe exactly. Going on. So I think this has a lot of potential as a stage. Uh, especially this top right corner being, like, kind of a safe area, but, like... I, I, yeah, look at that! See? Let me try... Yep. Yeah, you Is don't it... really fly anywhere, so you can build up the damage and now go that way. Aww. <laughs> and yeah, I, I, I think there's a lot of good fighting potential with this one. Plus, pretty fun theming with... Uh, <laughs> I love I love the mouth on Majora, the, the moon in this one. That's pretty great. <laughs> that is really funny. I like that. And ah. the eyes. Kind of like the smash reveal for, um, for Inkling. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and we'll be back right back with the next stage, and uh, we'll see you then. All right, we're back with our second stage, this one being the Comet Observatory from Super Mario Galaxy, and already just from this picture, looks like it captures it pretty well. It looks well. so good. I love the colors. It looks so bright and inviting. Mm -hmm. Good use of the background to give that yes. uh, idea of it being the observatory. Nice galaxy feel. And of course we got Luma's theme for the actual music. So oh, perfect. Pretty well done there, Mike. And of course we got the ID there if you want to try, try it out for yourself. Uh, but let's go ahead and test it. Sounds good. I also like how this one doesn't seem to have a lot of pitfalls. <laughs> <laughs> you are a big fan of that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yep, we'll see what we have to see here as soon as it loads up. <laughs> <laughs> and we're here. We have uh, this top bit. Oh, nice. They didn't realize they made it out of yarn. Oh, cool. And I think this is where the story is being told. Yep. Uh, this the area right there. Yep. We head over here. We can see the center area. Oh, it's, oh, a it's map. the map. I didn't so realize cool. it was the map until we got close. That's I cool. love how That's even... a good detail. Mm -hmm. That is really cool. And actually, if we uh, look behind it, we can see where the, the grand stars and all the stars go in so we can actually exactly. power this observatory. Yep. Got the little bit of a tree, and then we even have Captain Toad's mushroom yep. spaceship. This is really cool. I like this Like, it's one. really great details into it. Uh, no hazards or anything like that, but it uh, makes for a good uh, stage to fight in. Although, uh, probably get caught... Pretty well, be under here. Here, let me uh, what do you want? get back, get over here. It's like okay. smack you. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> I was seeing if Luma's uh, protecting me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> seeing how you could bounce. Yeah. Uh, from there, so it's kind of protected, but um, I'm just taking a nap. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, there's a lot of potential yeah, here. Yeah, you can't jump through this piece. And you can't jump through this piece. So there's actually uh, not every spot is a good spot to get uh, get blasted away, but. I'd say this is a pretty good representation. Yeah. I like this uh, style of board as well. Mm -hmm. It's really nice for no falling. <laughs> yeah. And it doesn't feel like the typical battlefield setup that we tend to see. Yeah. And I think this would work really well for bigger battles too. More people. Yeah. It says up to four, but I feel like this could ha easily handle eight players. Oh yeah. Definitely. Yep. Maybe you can't have eight in the custom Maybe. States. I'm not fully sure of that yet. But uh, yeah, that is the... 
Comet Observatory, so we'll be back with our third stage. All right, for our third stage, we're getting a little bit away from Nintendo and having and taking a look at a stage based off of Shovel Knight, specifically the Tropical Fishes Pond. And you're not too familiar with. Uh, uh, no, Shovel I've only Knight. played the first level of Shovel Knight, but it's an amazing game. I've heard so many wonderful things about it. So, mm -hmm. is this later on in the game then? And it's not really a level. There's a place you can go to the Trapple King, who is uh, half half trout, half apple, and uh, and <laughs> ah. and get little bonuses there. Uh, so this is just it, this is kind of perfect because it is just a single screen that he can recreate. And so Brenton, yeah, uh, this could should be pretty good. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and test it out and I see. Love the tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. See what we, uh, how it works as a stage. All right, and we have Bell Aim as Meta Knight for you know Shovel Knight, and I'm <laughs> uh, Dark Meta Knight for Black Knight. So I like oh, this okay. upgrade. Uh, Shovel Knight has wings now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Very useful. There's the Pogo. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, it's actually, it's, it's a pretty interesting illusion because from the outside it looks like there is water thanks to that texture, but uh, there, you know, obviously there isn't, it's just denim pants. Yeah. Um, and you could, there's a walk off on the left which uh, could provide some interesting uh, play, uh, gameplay. Oh. I'm actually a little sad that we, there's no water element to fill this in uh, and give it that little extra touch. I was hoping I could jump on these... What looked to be lights on a land, like a string or something. Yeah, is that what a little this bit. Is supposed to be? I I think that it is. Uh, it got cut. Looks like it cut off. Got cut off a little bit based on what I was seeing, but or ran out of elements or something like that. So we're we are working through here. So we have kind of a uh, a standard uh, setup here. I I do like again that you have a walk off on this side and yeah, let's go wide. You uh, can't get on top of the tree. No, you can't. So all we have here is these three platforms. I see. Um, and yeah, I, I man, I wish that a water element would really add to the stage. That's not the creator's fault at all. Oh. Um, but it's it's still you know something to be nice to have. Uh, otherwise, I think this is a pretty good representation, and they did the best they could they could to have a, the you know pond available uh, with the background uh, since we have like ice flows and whatnot. <laughs> it does the job. But yeah, I think. Uh, definitely best for a four-player match, not eight players like the Combat Observatory. But, I don't know. I think they did a pretty good job. It looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go ahead and go to our fourth stage. Alright, our fourth stage that we have here is Fruit Basket, specifically from Rhythm Heaven. Now, I'm not too familiar with the Rhythm Heaven series. That's kind of more of Ash's thing. But I, I, it looks amazing just seeing all the blue there. Uh, the, the basketball hoops. I'm not quite sure how it's uh, all going to go. I'm guessing that's a melon on top of the blue guy's head. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, this so far just visually, it looks really great, uh, come on, man. And once again, we have the ID, ID there. Uh, do you have any familiarity with Rhythm Heaven? Uh, I played the, the Rhythm Heaven some kind of mix. I can't remember uh, the... It was on the 3DS. Oh, okay. Some kind of, like, final mix or some kind of mix. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, it might have been in all of the different yeah. games And together. I did play, I think, this one, where you have to shoot them in the basket with the timing. Nice. And I want to say they either go into the tube or they come out of the tube. I can't remember. I could see that I, either way. I can't remember which way it is, but the slime blobby dude in the middle is definitely the one that shoots it. <laughs> Very So I'm cool. interested to see if there's any movement in this Yeah, I'm, I am hoping for movement for this one. So let's see if there is any in go into a test. All right. Ooh, we there is uh, some movement chose going some uh, cute character and some just oddball character, which I think fits the uh, whole... Oh, nice. Oh, we these got... are stages. And the... you can actually get on top of that, too. Yeah, you, you he, can't really stay there. He but... is bouncing. Yeah, the thing is, we got wind gusting down to keep you from going too, hard, too far uh, up. Uh, well, he ba balances that. Oh, there's no edge. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that is not. Uh, nope, that is not. Anything you can put there. That's interesting. So it's it's mainly a middle bit here oh. with the. Uh, it's like a balancing act. Just trying to stay ball. on that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm curious, uh, like how I'm, I don't know how much is. What are you trying to do? <laughs> build up your percentage so I can see how much the wind affects how oh, much I like. Because okay. you're really gonna have to go for the side smashes rather than the uh, up smashes. I do like the little, the movement there. It's well timed. Mm-hmm. Can't believe you would hurt a plant. <laughs> Ooh, oh, that's cool. That that's useful. Yeah, let's get over to the side over here where the wind's more. 
Oh, oh, oh you mean down there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you still can force your way past the wind. I was curious yep. about that. Wind will not enough. keep you down. But uh, I like the stage. This is this is pretty cool. It, it, kind of simple when you realize the sides don't uh, have any. <laughs> there's nothing to them. But still, I, I like the idea of the wind pushing it down. You have the little guy, cute guy in the background, and even potentially getting up there, which could be tricky. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for hurting me earlier. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I yeah, this has been a this is a pretty cool one. I, I like the, you can definitely tell how much effort was put into just designing it, making it work yeah. uh, as it as you know visually. So making yeah, making it true to the source material. Mm hmm So we'll check out the fifth and final stage uh, very soon. So we'll see you guys there. All right. So this one I'm actually really excited about because it's based off Bonneton from uh, Super Mario Galaxy. Actually going for the Luigi's Mansion theme for the background, which is pretty interesting. It looks really cool how they recreated mm -hmm. that that entire level. Yeah, the atmosphere is spot on here. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this one and seeing how it's laid out and whatnot. It looks like this is done by Xander NWR. I wonder if that's some, somebody from Nintendo World Report. Uh, but there's the idea that you can check out and yeah, let's see what Bonneton's all about. Yeah, let's see what platforms we have to work with. All right, so we're in Mario and Peach's uh, wedding outfit. To, I think it kind of fits for the Mario Odyssey oh, it theme. Totally, perfectly fits. Yeah. So go wide. I want to see how this looks. So yeah, head over and. Oh wow. Oh. You do your upbeat. Yeah. Oh, or your butt bounce. That works too. <laughs> so yeah. Nice big stage. This is a very big stage. Uh, I I, I kind of like how you don't see this curved look too often on platforms in the in the normal Smash. Uh, stages and just having this over here that is is especially high like uh, you, yeah. you can't really get up well, maybe some characters can I don't think all can but it also gives an advantage uh, like you can actually wall jump and try out some different things um, uh oh <laughs> <laughs> so that foreground oh, is look not at the bottom that, that was a good for the uh, the fog mm-hmm because you don't see that when you're up close as well. I'll die again. <laughs> it's a little <laughs> nice hard to cover. tell. I don't know if it's more... Uh, I guess it has to be fog if it's white. Oh, like look, that. you can actually go down to oh, that level. Oh, weird. So you can be in the fog. Do yeah. you know how at the, uh, at the beginning when Mario's running through the fog? Uh-huh. Also, this, this might be one of those early bridges, so it's like you're going through the bridge. So that's cool. cool. Yeah, this has a very unique geometry and just really matches the uh, aesthetic of Bonneton very well, especially the background. By making the background so high, we can't see really see the ice flows. I kind of can, but um, I, th I think the background works for this. Mm -hmm. and yeah, this, it works with the color palette. Mm -hmm. This is a very cool stage. So yeah, those are five stages uh, available now on the uh, Stage Builder uh, selection screen. You can find those if you go to the online section of Smash Ultimate and just do a search. We have the IDs, on, of course, on there from the beginning. And check them out for yourself. Maybe download them so you can play with your friends. And yeah, we'll have to, we'll, of course, be back with uh, even more stages that, that people have created, highlighting some of the ones that we think are pretty cool. And hope you guys enjoyed this. So thank you for watching. And of course, be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for more on Super, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and other things gaming as well. Belle, where can they find you at, actually? <laughs> uh, they can find me over on YouTube, youtube.com slash bellaim, B-E-L-L-E-A-I-M. And thank you so much for inviting me. This was a ton of fun. I love to see all the creativity people have come up with already. Mm, that's going to be the best so part. And there's so much more. Yeah, it's there's crazy. a lot more out there. I want to see so many more. <laughs> exactly. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.